Hey! Hello and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all of your love and support over the years. Our mission is to help you all better understand your inner selves. Many of you are having problems with thoughts that divert you from your desire. So, how should we approach this issue? Let's check out this video. We're trying to get you to see the death experience from your broader point of view. And we know humans have such a screwy picture of death. The day you're born, you say, watch out, that could kill you. And you begin to develop this resistance to, and it is odd because it is inevitable. You don't know anyone that doesn't experience it. And yet you dread it. And a question like this further enhances the dread, doesn't it? Well, I'm not sure exactly. Really, I'm trying to reconcile if disease, if there's nothing that's incurable. In other words, if disease doesn't take you out, would anybody die? Let's take yeah, away train wrecks, car wrecks, trucks running right, over then you, that would be the and next disease, step. and yeah. uh, there's leprosy. <laughs> we love this question because what you're helping us to amplify is that there are many people who make their death experience in the same way that you make your next choice in life experience. In other words, sometimes you've lived enough life and you put enough into vibrational escrow that the death experience is the call of source. In other words, when this time space reality is no longer serving you in the powerful way that you've intended, you often opt for reemergence into non-physical and a fresh start again. Humans don't like the thought of that because they say, oh, the last start was pretty rough going and I just got it squared away and now I have to start all over. I have to be a teenager again. <laughs> yeah. But we lovingly want to say to you that that is a question that would ever only be spoken from human perspective and from a disconnected human perspective yeah. as well. Okay. A lot yeah. of creating by default going on mm -hmm. by a lot of people because you're offering vibrations all over the place, not tending to them. You've forgotten that it matters how you feel. It's a very common thing. People will say, I must speak the truth. I must face reality. And we say, why keep active in your vibration something that you don't want? Because it's true. We say, but surely there are things that are true that cause alignment with source. In other words, just because it's true, it doesn't deserve your attention. Pick the things that are true that feel good when you focus upon them and let that be the vibrational basis of your life experience. It is tricky when you have been using what you see with your eyes and hear with your ears and so on as your acknowledgement of what's happening to have something that is 99% created and not be able to see it takes an element of faith that if you don't know about the laws of the universe and you don't know that the way you feel means something, what happens is You'll be moving along. You'll find a positive thought. You'll think about what you want. You'll view something that you appreciate. You'll come into vibrational alignment with the idea of this and you are moving right along to it. And then you'll see someone who right now has exactly what you want, which, which reminds you that you don't have it right now and you turn upstream. So all that's happening is you're turning toward it and away from it and toward it and away from it because you're letting what is control the direction of your thought rather than what you want to be you have created this magnificent relationship that your inner being is already fully enjoying we'll give you more about that in a moment so as this relationship is already come to vibrational fruition and you're feeling good about whatever you're moving toward it as you feel bad you're moving away from it so the work has already been done relative to the creation of the relationship now your work is to hold yourself in vibrational alignment with the well-being that is waiting for you which means your work now is to feel good so this is the dumbing down part that we really want you to hear and it is not a dumb question at all it's the elementary question that you have posed so beautifully you have to care about how you feel not about the guy because the guy's a sure thing but when you pick up the stick that says my mate you pick up the stick that has him missing on one end 
and you don't believe he's present on the other so every time you activate the vibration of relationship it turns you upstream where if instead of activating the vibration of relationship you were activating the vibration of things always work out for me I'm getting to handle this I know what I'm doing I've been envisioning my life has caused me to put him there I know he's there I don't have to worry about when he's coming and you get focused upon other things that make you feel good or things about that that make you feel good before you know it you'll be there now about this vibrational escrow we want to paint another picture for you we think you'll like it a lot so talk about Jerry and Esther so all of their lives and Jerry was here first so he was banging around before Esther was born long before Esther was born. <laughs> and he was <laughs> that was Esther talking <laughs> And so he was launching things into his vibrational escrow. He launched things into his vibrational escrow even before he was born. So did Esther. And this work that they are now upon was already in vibrational escrow before either one of them were born. Now they're banging around in physical form. They're having relationships with other people. They're launching rockets of desire. And they put into vibrational escrow a picture of what they want in terms of their purpose of life and what they want in terms of relationship. In other words, they created a vibrational escrow that was really about each other now neither one of them had ever met each other but they were already alive and active so here's this vibrational escrow so then here's Esther finding a reason to feel good and moving closer toward Jerry she didn't know it here's Jerry finding a reason to feel good and moving closer toward Esther in other words they weren't focused upon finding each other that's not how they found each other they were focused upon this that made them happy and 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 this that made them happy and, them happy. and when two happy people got over there in their vibrational escrow there they were and the day they met they knew in other words the day they met they could not take their eyes from one another they did not know what it was about they felt a coming home that was indescribable what you want is a sure thing it's just a matter of you allowing yourself vibrational alignment with who you are so when your quest is alignment with who you are we promise you your lover will be there so a woman said to us one day Abraham will my son find a mate soon and we said hopefully not <laughs> she did not like that answer at all she said how can you say that I think that is the answer to everything that is wrong and we said if he finds a mate right now she also will be unemployed she won't like herself either if he demanded that the universe give it to him now then it would come as he is now well what's happening with you is your picture of who you are and what you want is so vivid and you are in the process of coming into alignment with that vivid picture so the timing of this relationship is not because he's late in showing up it's because you are wanting to come into alignment with who it is so much better to be in alignment with who you are him be in alignment with who he is and when you rendezvous your two people in alignment who then recognize each other but if you meet him before he's in alignment or if you meet him before you're in alignment then you miss it you see and that's all that's been happening and that's just fine don't want to rendezvous with someone that is not in vibrational alignment with your total picture of what you are wanting calibration is a real thing point of attraction is a real thing law of attraction is a real thing you cannot ask circumstances to be different so that you'll feel different you got to feel different anyway you got to find a way of feeling different so you got to say things more general things such as there have been other people in this position and things always do work out in one way or another and there is a way of lightening up in this and there are solutions along the way and in the same way that we have found an effective doctor that knows what he's doing as much as anybody does about this if we can attract that then we can attract the means to afford him and if we can attract that then we can attract this that's the most significant thing do you realize in all of that that's the thing you wanted most just a little while ago that's all you cared about that was all you cared about that was the thing that mattered the most and you got it you got that thing that you cared the most about you got a doctor that knows what he's doing you got the thing that matters most but you're still complaining and we understand why but you got to cut it out can you remember when you didn't have that doctor does it feel like greater relief now that you've got that doctor can you remember when you don't have enough money can you imagine a time when you do? You see what we're getting at?
you can make the shift. This is the thing. We've always enjoyed visiting with you. And it's because you're real. And it's because you hear what we're saying. But this is the thing that we want all of you to hear. Humans keep wanting conditions to change so that they can have a better feeling response to the condition. That's not what deliberate creation is. Never ask a question that you think the answer is going to be contrary to your lining up with who you are and what you're wanting. There are some people who can say, better and better, I'm feeling better and better, I'm feeling better and better. Because these things we know, this is not going to take him out. He is on the way to recovery. You have a doctor that knows what he's doing. You are primarily going to get what you want. What you want to do is put yourself in a position where you're not suffering along the way. As much as anything, this is an opportunity for you to understand that you can control the direction of your mind even under conditions like this. And we know it's not an easy thing to do, but it's a possible thing to do. And so far, you've not been focused in a way that is working the way it can or the way you want it to. In other words, what is, is looming so big in your experience. And this is what's interesting. At first, what is that was looming so big? Because your desire was so strong, you made an end run around that. This is what we mean. When you have a desire that is very, very strong, it doesn't matter what your beliefs are. Your desire will dominate. So your desire was so strong that you accomplished what you wanted by attracting someone who can really guide you in a productive and effective way. Oh, that is so big. That is so worth celebrating. That's so worth thinking about, you see. But that's because your desire was really, really strong. These other things that are getting you down, like not getting enough sleep or like worrying about money, this is not new stuff for you. These are the things you've been squabbling with each other about from the beginning of your relationship together. Isn't that right? Haven't you been worried about money as long as you've known us? And so this isn't new. It's just exacerbated by the situation. And so isn't it time for you to get a handle on that? And in the same way that this diagnosis caused an eruption of desire within you that was so big that the desire was so strong that it overrode your belief system, this now desire for money is big like that too and it will also be strong enough to override your belief system that's what this is about is to show you the power of pure desire most people aren't even close to pure desire because in most cases it doesn't matter that much if you sort of want it and you sort of don't believe it no big deal no big consequences of negative attraction but when you really really want it and you're focused on opposition to it big big deal big enough that with all you know and with what the two of you know you overcame that you accomplished so much about that desire and the other desires will follow too they will but you have to decide that how you feel you see thank you for your time we hope you enjoy this video and will share it with others to help those in need. Subscribe now for our next video.